All right, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mosakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord, Yahweh, to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from his captivity to us in Shalom. So this is going to be a, you know, a quick hit, lunchtime video, and it's going to be entitled, um, and Then Shall Appear the Son of the Son of the Man, and, and it's based off of Matthew 24, I'm going to start at verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So the tribulation, when you look into it, Jeremiah 30 and 7, that's Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. You got, uh, you know, the enemy is going to come in like a flood. You're going to have people starving. You're going to have people dying. Uh, different types of grievous deaths you can go to jeremiah the 15th chapter the lord said he had set over, over them four kinds you know the the, uh, the sword to slay the, the teeth of wild beasts to tear uh famine etc i think the last one was uh, the captivity i'm paraphrasing it so it says immediately after the tribulation of those days so immediately after jacob's trouble is whatever time allotted is, is is fulfilled because the lord only knows when uh everything is going to happen in, in in succession whatever whatever time allotted that the lord got it could be months it could be a year we don't know how long jacob's trouble is going to actually last however we do know that all of these things will happen quickly how should I say, behold, I come quickly, right? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven, right? What's going to cause the sun to be darkened and the moon to not give her light? It's going to be those missiles. There's going to be so many missiles being shot up over here. It's going to block out the sun and the moon. You see? And it says that the, st uh, the stars fell from heaven and the powers of the and the powers of heaven shall be shaken when those missiles hit. The scriptures say that the earth is going to reel like uh, like a drunken, reel to and fro like a drunken. See, so this is a very serious thing that we're 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 about to witness. We're about to see these things happen on this earth. That's why you have to be in the right spirit. If you all in the party party, oh, oh, I'm trying to go out, I'm trying to have fun. You know, you ready to go vote? For Kamala Harris, you, you, you know, you say, oh, uh, well, summer's over. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work on my, on my hibernate this winter so I can come out again next summer and, and look better. You're getting the wrong mindset, man. You should be, the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and the fear of the Lord is your treasure. You should be storing up this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because. I don't, I don't give a fuck how nice your body look. When the missiles hit, that shit's gonna, hey, you gonna be, that's gonna be on fire. You see, the scripture said the earth is, is, is gonna burn like an oven. Malachi, the fourth chapter. That all the proud, yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. It's gonna be, you know, there's neither root nor branch. There's gonna be nothing left over here. All this different hardware. I'm over here, I'm at the job. It's kind, of, it's kind of loud, so lock it if it's too loud. You got all type of machinery and, and metal and, and scrap. And all that, All of this is going to be gone, man. You see? Verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting for Yahweh Shai to return. The Son of Man is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, the clouds with the chariots. When you uh, go to Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, uh, every eye shall see him, or behold, he come with clouds, every eye shall see him. 
And then when you go to, uh, what's that, Psalms 104 and 3, it talks about the, the beams. He left the, the, the beams in the waters. He maketh the clouds his chariot. The, the chariots of Yahweh Shem Yashai, what the world calls UFOs, they're going to return with the Savior, Yahweh Shai. He's going to be in a great uh, fathership, you know, because in the world they call it a mothership. Right, that that uh, that garbage. But he's going to be in a fathership. He's going to deliver the elect, and simultaneously, while he's delivering the elect, he's going to be zapping and destroying, you know, two thirds Edomites. And it's going to literally look like an uh, uh, alien invasion, but it's actually Yahweh Shah. It's actually the Heavenly Father's Son returning to what? To recompense them that have done evil unto us. This is all because of the controversy of Zion. So I'm going to keep reading. It says, And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Because those chariots are coming with power, man. There's going to be a vibration with that. Fear is going to be at an all-time high in that day. Fear is going to be at an all-time high in that day. I don't give a fuck how strong you are. I don't give a fuck how cool you think you are. The scriptures say that the mighty men shall weep bitterly. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. That's that seven trump. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other. So the Lord is going to send those angels to gather up the elect. What's that? Isaiah 26 and 21. It says, come, come, uh, come, my people, enter into thy chambers till the indignation be passed. The Lord is not going to destroy his people, man. At least the elect of his people. There's a remnant that the Lord is going to save. That's why I, the, the, the scripture that I quoted, Jeremiah 30 and 7, it, in that latter verse, or in latter in that verse, it says, uh, actually, let me just read it. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. We get the context. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So two-thirds of the nation of Israel, when you go to Zechariah, the 13th chapter, in the verse, uh, the, the eighth verse, it says that two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. That third is talking about this, this portion here, but he shall be saved out of it. That's the one-third. That's that grape that's spoken of in 2nd Ezra the ninth chapter from the cluster. Why? Because he have he have he have spent he great labored to make it perfect. The elect is perfect in the spirit. That's why in Revelation the 14th chapter it says, in their mouth was found no guile. The Lord is only dealing with his remnant. He ain't dealing with the whole nation of Israel. That's why you got all these different camps out there. You got the uh, the Sakaris, the IUICs, the ISUPKs, the GOC. You got the, the fucking Genesis in Israelites now. You know, HODC, HOY, Wi-Fi. You got all these different camps out there, and in in the midst of all of these different camps, you got you got sprinkled of the elect. But I, hey, through the Spirit, I truly believe that majority of the elect is in, in Great Millstone because that's where the 100% truth is coming out of. You're gonna have some, uh, hey, you know, even the Apostle Tahar said, you're gonna have some sincere brothers in these other camps that's being led astray, but they're gonna see the truth at the very end. You know, you got these camps out there that's not teaching you the true name of the Lord. You got camps out there that's teaching you can have sex on the Sabbath. You got camps out there that's hustling, hustling their, uh, their following. All type of, sh all type of madness, man. All type of madness. So what's going to happen? The Lord's going to, hey, he's going to do unto you what you have done unto him. That's why he said, he said, the least that you have done unto me, uh, unto my brethren, you have done unto me. So if you're out there hustling the sheep, the Lord going to hustle your ass, man. You know, if, you, if, if you're not treating the flock right, if you're not feeding the flock, your ass ain't going to eat. Isaiah 65th chapter says that. The servants of the Lord shall eat. You gonna be hungry. <laughs> you see? So this is what we're patiently waiting for, man. So I'm gonna go back. I guess a little bit more. 
20, Matthew 24 and 31 again and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other so Lord hey you got the elect is scattered uh, um, throughout the entire earth but the one third that uh, that's written that's spoken of in, in Zechariah 13 and 8 that's talking about that uh, that portion Right, you got they say two thirds of the nation of Israel shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. That's talking about America. They said in that in all the in all that land, right? That's talking about America. But you got you got some uh, when you go to Revelation the seventh chapter, it talks about the uh, innumerable multitude. There's an innumerable multitude of, of of Israelites who will believe, who will be saved. You see. So this is what we're patiently waiting on, man. You got to get with the program. Get with the program, man. Otherwise, you're going to get left behind. The Lord said he come quickly. He come like a thief in the night. You don't want to be caught off guard. You don't want to be caught with your pants on your ankles, so to speak. He said the, the, the servant who knew his, his Lord's will shall be beaten with many stripes, man. You don't want to burn with, 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 with Esau, Edom, and the, the two-thirds of the nation of Israel in this land of America, man. You don't want to. Trust me. I don't want to. So that's it. I just wanted to bring that out real quick through the Spirit. Giving all praises again to Yahweh. Show me outside. Show me how to die. Show the one.